Hello, welcome to Garden Masterclass on our YouTube channel. My name is Annie Guilfoyle and together with Noel Kingsbury, we run the Garden Masterclass programme. This has been running for about four years. It's an educational programme and ordinarily we run events all over the British Isles and mainland Europe um, in gardens and nurseries. But this year, of course, uh, we've had to do a lot of work online. And here we are in the beautiful garden of Derry Watkins, very close to Bath. Um, and the reason we're filming here today is uh, it's an unusual circumstance because Noel Kingsbury and myself are in the same country at the same time. And we thought this would be a really good opportunity to tell you about ourselves and what we do. So I'm going to hand over to Noel in a little while, but just so that you know a little bit more about us. I'm a garden designer. I live in West Sussex. I teach at Great Dixter, a very well-known and wonderful garden in East Sussex and at West Dean. And for 18 years, I was the garden design or the director of KLC uh, School of Design. Since 2016, myself and Noel Kingsbury have been running Garden Masterclass. These are live educational events set in the most beautiful gardens, nurseries and other venues all over the British Isles and into mainland Europe. Our audience are generally from a professional capacity of garden designers, landscape architects and very keen garden owners. And we also produce pay to view webinars which are recorded and you'll find those on our Vimeo channel and if you just look up for Garden Masterclass uh, you'll find them there. Hello, my name is Noel Kingsbury and I write about plants and gardens for books and magazines. I've also done a lot of uh, research over the years, particularly into the performance, the long-term performance of garden plants. I've got a background though in adult education and so I've always been really interested in how we communicate what we find out about plants uh, to people involved in gardening and landscape. At the beginning of 2020 we had well over 30 workshops organised in Britain, Ireland, the Netherlands and one in France and one in Germany. And of course, with the COVID crisis, we had to cancel or reschedule the lot. So thinking on our feet, uh, we decided to do a five times a week broadcast for the global garden community. We did that for two months. And since then, we've been doing it just once a week, every Thursday evening. All of those recordings then go onto our YouTube channel. Uh, and we've got many hours of great garden viewing. So now we're setting up Friends of Garden Masterclass. Members will have discounts to our webinars and to the recorded webinars, uh, privileged invitations to special events. Uh, it will also give free access to all of our recorded material. So if you would like to see the rest of this video, then please subscribe and we'll be very glad to meet you. Today we're up in Sheffield. We're talking to Zach Tudor and Zach is the Principal Landscape Architect at Sheffield Council. Could we turn a northern city into somewhere which was beautiful and somewhere where you could enjoy yourself more again? It's just about a new vision. My, my biggest worry and fear for most cities is that they start to just look all the same. That is what um, I think we've managed to achieve. I think it's just seen it in a completely different light. So I think two things really, uh, really started to change our, our perception about what we should be doing in our cities. The flooding in 2008, we opened up a new ring road and pushed, uh, pushed the new ring road further out of, of the city centre space. And we had spaces left behind, which was our old ring road. That's where we started to rethink our ideas about, you know, not just about designing a space to be nice and attractive. It had to tick lots of other boxes. This is over, you know, half a kilometre long, continuous um, rain garden suds beds. You know, the edges of these schemes are incredibly important. If we want water to be getting in off the roads, water can be a, an incredible problem in terms of too much of it, an incredible problem and too little of it. This is a flood defence project, but again, with all the multiple benefits that we can sort of get from it, it's protecting um, quite a large area of, of the city from flooding but also sort of dealing with riverside habitat creation, a park space in its own right, a setting for regeneration and access down to the water's edge. The term suds, uh, sustainable urban drainage is, is where we sort, of, uh, we sort of 
Taker Street, which is a traditional street on A there, uh, completely impervious to, to any infiltration of water. Uh, we get rid of all of that and basically we create large planting areas with all the falls from the roads, from the footways, and everything goes into the planting areas. So our Greater Green project, uh, it still allows for local access traffic to be able to go through, still allows for buses to move through, uh, improved pedestrian and cycle movements. That's sort of nearly 1.2 kilometres of completely greened street. I think it's probably the, uh, the, the largest retrofit uh, sud scheme in Britain, certainly the longest green street in, in Britain. Whatever we put in the city, it shouldn't, as I say, it shouldn't become a burden and we should never be watering these systems either. So, but in terms of the design process, wherever we sort of get a footpath or a cycleway, we try and get the planting either side so that at least it gives you that feeling of immersion into something. Thank you so much because, um, you know, yeah, you, thank you. It's been brilliant. And really good. inspiring and, and it's lovely. And it's just, you know, Sheffield's just such a fantastic city.